All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Core Keeper video. So in this video, we're uh, discussing the poisonous sickle and the, uh, the way that you can get it. So obviously we take a look at it right here. 175 to 213 melee damage, two and a half attacks per second, plus 18% critical hit damage, which is huge. And then you have the plus 28% chance to apply poison on hit, reduces enemy healing received by 75%. Now this is a really good weapon. I think this is probably the best weapon in terms of DPS damage that you can do right now. And currently we're working on some different builds and we're uh, definitely gonna be using this weapon as one of them. The only knock on this one is that it does have a durability. You can see right there, it's 500 durability as opposed to the Rune Song that has zero durability. Uh, so you don't have to repair that but you do have to repair this i believe it only takes scarlet bars to repair so we can go ahead and uh, double check on that right now so scarlet bars to repair it which you'll find a ton of in the uh, wilderness here so we're going to cover the two places that you can get the uh the poisonous sickle one of them being the mold biomes now they can be found in the chests in the mold biomes but it's pretty rare i've not seen one uh drop in a chest and i've cleared out quite a bit of the mold dungeons around here so your other two options are going to be the uh, the colossal cicada that you can be found that can be found in one of the mold dungeons in particular this one right here and we're going to go show you guys where that is as well as the uh, it drops from ivy ivy as well with I think it's only like a 2.12 percent chance to drop from ivy so your mold dungeon chests and uh, the cicada are the probably the two easiest uh ways to get it in terms of drop rate because if you find the uh, cicada it's going to be 100 percent chance that it's going to be there so we're going to go run up to this mold dungeon and show you guys where it is now on the map here you can see i was pointing out this one right here this mold dungeon with a little bit of the the green ground in the middle of it this is the mold dungeon that you want to look out for because this is going to indicate that the cicada is in this one you can see some of these other mold dungeons that i've cleared out they had just some rooms but you don't see any of the green ground in them up here as well so the one mold dungeon that you're gonna look for is the one with the green ground in the middle it's probably gonna be one of the bigger ones and as you can see here it's just east of the uh, area where Azios is uh, spawned and you can see from the uh, location of the border right here so this is where the uh, edge of the border to the wilderness goes just out there is Azios wilderness and then just past that so I wouldn't look too far out over this way all these mold dungeons out this way it's gonna be relatively uh, close to the uh, edge of the biome like i've said with uh, ivy the ancient guardian and azios has spawned himself they're going to be relatively close to the edge of the biome where it connects with the clay or the forgotten ruins so don't go too far out maybe just uh, get a border out maybe three to five hundred blocks out and then look for that area so we're going to go ahead and head up here now now the only difficult part is if you haven't uh gotten the mold ring or the mold vein necklace yet then these are going to be kind of a pain to uh, clear out so the, your best bet is to find one of the mold dungeons where the infected cavelings are and then draw some of those infected cavelings out and just kill them and hope that uh, you get the necklace and the uh the ring to drop if not you can always um hold on let me get up here you can always just bring a drill or uh, some of the large bombs or even the ancient pickaxe and just mine through some of the walls so you can kind of go to the exterior of the mold dungeons and see if you find chests and then just break through the wall there and then uh, break open that or get into the chest and hope that you find a sickle or uh, the mold ring and mold vein necklace there so i cleared a little bit of this out and some of these guys respawned so we'll go ahead and clear them out here on our way up here get rid of that poison there And these guys will respawn pretty quickly in here. So if you can draw them out, if you're looking for the mold vein ring or the necklace, um, you can do it pretty quickly. So here we go. This is the mold dungeon that I was talking about. You'll come up to the cicada right here, just like you do with the ancient guardian. He'll uh, have an outline in white. You'll press E and then you'll get yourself the, uh, the poisonous sickle that way. So not too difficult. The only difficult part is just like a lot of the stuff in this game is actually finding the location of it. But once you do, you get yourself a poisonous sickle, 100% drop rate that it'll be in there at least one time. And then if you're looking for duplicates, you can either go farm ivy or uh, just clear out the mold dungeons and hope that you get one from the chest. Like I said, I haven't had one get uh, dropped from the chest yet, and I've cleared out probably 20 to 25 mold dungeons. So I don't know what the drop rate is out of the chest. And like I said, I do know the drop rate for ivy, and I believe it's 2.12%. But we're going to go uh, take her on and see if we can get lucky. So... I'm going to go head up to Ivy's location. We'll take her out real quick, and then uh, we'll see if we get the uh, get the sickle. So we'll be right back. 
All right, so now we're up here at Ivy's summoning location. I don't have any uh, special foods or anything like this. We're just going to try to wing it and kill her and see if we can uh, get this to drop. So let's go. And there we go. So we'll see if we can uh, get our 2% luck drop of the uh, poison and sickle. And unfortunately, we did not. But there's your two ways of getting the uh, the poison and sickle, or three ways rather. I guess you can get them in the chest. You can get them from the uh, Colossal Cicada, which is a unique structure in the game. And like I said, they're pretty close to the edges of the biome. And then from Ivy herself here. But the drop rate from Ivy is uh, pretty low, so you're going to have to farm her quite a bit. The uh, benefits of farming her, though, you can get the ivy pants and the ivy, thorn, uh, ivy harness as well, which are pretty useful uh, in building a DPS class. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Let me know what you uh, think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe already if you haven't joined the uh, community. We'd love to have you join. Link in the description to join the Discord. With that being said, take care of yourself, everybody. Take care of each other. And as always, stay original, my friends. Later.